Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we're going to be making some really super cute turtle coasters. We are going to make a turtle coaster today, and I have some green pigment powder and some resin mixed. So I'm going to dump it in, get it all mixed up, and pour it into our coaster mold. Then I'm going to take my lighter, pop the bubbles, and I'm going to let this sit a minimum of 12 hours. The resin cured and I pulled it out of the mold. Now I'm going to use a fine paintbrush and some acrylic paint. You can do the multi-surface paint, whatever you want to do. And I'm just going to paint a circle around here. And I'm sure it won't be perfect. And then I'm going to just start painting a shape in the middle and if you screw up just take a wet paper towel wipe it right off So I have both of them painted and you can change up the pattern if you want to and I'm going to just let these dry. Here are our turtle shells and all I'm going to do is add some resin on top of it and I'll move it around with my stir stick to get it to the edge and hopefully not go over the edge. Then I'm going to just take my lighter, pop the bubbles and then we're gonna let it sit a minimum of 12 hours. So I'm gonna just draw a turtle based on the roundness of our coaster. I'm gonna give him a head. He's gonna need a flipper off of here. Flipper off of here. He's gonna need a tail and a flipper foot here, and a flipper foot here. Really basic drawing. Now I'm gonna just cut it out. Now I have some craft foam, and I'm just gonna trace this right onto the craft foam. And I'm gonna do that with a pen, because it shows up better. The thing I like about craft foam is how easy it cuts, just with a regular scissor. The only real thing you need to worry about is just to cut on the inside of the pen lines. That's it because you don't really want any of that pen showing through. So here it is all cut out. Either side, up or down is fine. If you have some pen markings that you'd rather not be up, then just flip it over and you're good to go. And I've selected eyes for each of the turtles. So I've got regular eyes and I have girl eyes. And we're going to attach it all now. So I have my glue that dries clear. And that's important just in case I have anything seeping out anywhere. So I'm just going to take some, spread it around, I'm going to plop it right on there, press her down, and we're going to let that sit and dry. But before we push it aside, we're going to take some more glue and an eyeball. Put it on there, and I think I want it right about there. And you kind of just want to make sure they are facing the same way, and that's specific to this set of eyeballs, just because she has the eyelashes on there. Okay, I'm going to do the same for this guy. Now all you have to do is let them dry, and you have these adorable little turtle coasters. I kind of have a little thing for turtles here lately, so let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. I think they're kind of cute. I hope you guys enjoyed the turtle coasters, and I hope you give them a try. I hope you think they're as cute as I do. And remember, if you have not joined my Facebook group called Creating with Craft Clutch, be sure to do that. And whether you're a beginner or you're an experienced crafter, doesn't matter. It's just a nice forum to get together, share what you're working on, and help each other out. I will have a link to that down in the description below. 
and I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.